Hexadecimal. In mathematics and computing, hexadecimal, also base 16, or hex, is a positional numeral system with a radix, or base, of 16. It uses 16 distinct symbols, most often the symbols 0 to 9 to represent values 0 to 9, and a, f, or alternatively a, f, to represent value s into 15. Hexadecimal numerals are widely used by computer system designers and programmers, as they provide a more human-friendly representation of binary coded values. Each hexadecimal digit represents four binary digits, also known as a nibble, which is half a byte. For example, a single byte can have values ranging from 0000, 0000 to 1111, 1111 in binary form, which can be more conveniently represented as 00 to FF in hexadecimal. In mathematics, a subscript is typically used to specify the radix. For example the decimal value would be expressed in hexadecimal as. In programming, a number of notations are used to support hexadecimal representation, usually involving a prefix or suffix. The prefix code ESA underscore 1 is used in C and related languages, which would denote this value by code ESA underscore 1. Hexadecimal is used in the transfer encoding base 16 in which each byte of the plain text is broken into two 4-bit values and represented by two hexadecimal digits. In contexts where the base is not clear, hexadecimal numbers can be ambiguous and confused with numbers expressed in other bases. There are several conventions for expressing values unambiguously. A numerical subscript, itself written in decimal, can give the base explicitly, 159 is decimal 159, 159 is hexadecimal 159 which is equal to 345. Some authors prefer a text subscript, such as 159 and 159, or 159 and 159. In linear text systems, such as those used in most computer programming environments, a variety of methods have arisen. There is no universal convention to use lowercase or uppercase for the letter digits, and each is prevalent or preferred in particular environments by community standards or conventions. The use of the letters A through F to represent the digits above 9 was not universal in the early history of computers. There are no traditional numerals to represent the quantities from 10 to 15, letters are used as a substitute, and most European languages lack non-decimal names for the numerals above 10. Even though English has names for several non-decimal powers, pair for the first binary power, score for the first bigesimal power, dozen, Gross and great gross for the first three duo decimal powers, no English name describes the hexadecimal powers, decimal 16,256, 4,096, 65,536. Some people read hexadecimal numbers digit by digit like a phone number, or using the NATO phonetic alphabet, the Joint Army slash Navy phonetic alphabet, or a similar ad hoc system. Systems of counting on digits have been devised for both binary and hexadecimal. Arthur C. Clarke suggested using each finger as an on slash off bit, allowing finger counting from 0 to 1023 on 10 fingers. Another system for counting up to FF, 255, is illustrated on the right. The hexadecimal system can express negative numbers the same way as in decimal, minus 2a to represent minus 42 and so on. Hexadecimal can also be used to express the exact bit patterns used in the processor, so a sequence of hexadecimal digits may represent a signed or even a floating point value. This way, the negative number minus 42 can be written as FFFFFFD6 in a 32-bit CPU register, in 2's complement. SC228000 in a 32-bit the register or C045, 000, 000, 000 in a 64-bit FPU register, in the IEEE floating point standard. Just as decimal numbers can be represented in exponential notation, so too can hexadecimal numbers. By convention, the letter P, or P, for power, represents times 2 raised to the power of, whereas E, or E, serves a similar purpose in decimal as part of the E notation. The number after the P is decimal and represents the binary exponent. Usually the number is normalized so that the leading hexadecimal digit is 1, unless the value is exactly 0. Example, 1.3dep42 represents hexadecimal exponential notation is required by the IEEE 754, 
2008 binary floating point standard. This notation can be used for floating point literals in the C99 edition of the C programming language. Using the percente or percente conversion specifiers, this notation can be produced by implementations of the print family of functions following the C99 specification and single Unix specification, IEEE standard 1003.1, POSIX standard. Most computers manipulate binary data but it is difficult for humans to work with a large number of digits for even a relatively small binary number. Although most humans are familiar with the base 10 system, it is much easier to map binary to hexadecimal than to decimal because each hexadecimal digit maps to a whole number of bits, 4. This example converts 1111 to base 10. Since each position in a binary numeral can contain either a 1 or a 0, its value may be easily determined by its position from the right therefore. With little practice, mapping 1111 to f in one step becomes easy, see table and written representation. The advantage of using hexadecimal rather than decimal increases rapidly with the size of the number. When the number becomes large, conversion to decimal is very tedious. However, when mapping to hexadecimal, it is trivial to regard the binary string as four digit groups and map each to a single hexadecimal digit. This example shows the conversion of a binary number to decimal mapping each digit to the decimal value, and adding the results. Compare this to the conversion to hexadecimal, where each group of four digits can be considered independently, and converted directly. The conversion from hexadecimal to binary is equally direct. Although quaternary, base 4, is little used, it can easily be converted to and from hexadecimal or binary. Each hexadecimal digit corresponds to a pair of quaternary digits and each quaternary digit corresponds to a pair of binary digits. In the above example 5 eb 52 equals 11322311102. The octal, base 8, system can also be converted with relative ease, although not quite as trivially as with bases 2 and 4. Each octal digit corresponds to three binary digits, rather than four. Therefore we can convert between octal and hexadecimal via an intermediate conversion though binary followed by regrouping the binary digits in groups of either 3 or 4. As with all bases there is a simple algorithm for converting a representation of a number to hexadecimal by doing integer division and remainder operations in the source base. In theory, this is possible for many base, but for most humans only decimal and for most computers only binary, which can be converted by far more efficient methods can be easily handled with this method. Let D be the number to represent in hexadecimal, and the series HH, HH be the hexadecimal digits representing the number. 16 may be replaced with any other base that may be desired. The following is a JavaScript implementation of the above algorithm for converting any number to a hexadecimal and string representation. Its purpose is to illustrate the above algorithm. To work with data seriously, however, it is much more advisable to work with bitwise operators. It is also possible to make the conversion by assigning each place in the source base the hexadecimal representation of its place value and then performing multiplication and addition to get the final representation. That is, to convert the number b to decimal one can split the hexadecimal number into its digits, b, 11, 3, 3, a, 10, and d, 13 and then get the final result b multiplying each decimal representation by 16, where p is the corresponding hex digit position, counting from right to left, beginning with 0. Dot in this case we have, which is 45,997 base 10. Most modern computer systems with graphical user interfaces provide a built-in calculator utility, capable of performing conversions between various radices, in general including hexadecimal. In Microsoft Windows, the calculator utility can be set to scientific mode, called programmer mode in some versions, which allows conversions between radix 16, hexadecimal, 10, decimal, 8, octal, and 2, binary, the bases most commonly used by programmers. In scientific mode, the on-screen numeric keypad includes the hexadecimal digits A through F, which are active when hex is selected. In hex mode, however, the Windows calculator supports only integers. As with other numeral systems, the hexadecimal system can be used to represent rational numbers, although repeating expansions are common since 1610 has only a single prime factor, 2. Where an overlay denotes a recurring pattern. For any base, 0.1, or 1 tenth, is always equivalent to 1 divided by the representation of that base value in its own number system. Thus, 
whether dividing 1 by 2 for binary or dividing 1 by 16 for hexadecimal, both of these fractions are written as codice underscore 49 dot because the radix 16 is a perfect square, 4, fractions expressed in hexadecimal have an odd period much more often than decimal ones, and there are no cyclic numbers, other than trivial single digits. Recurring digits are exhibited when the denominator in lowest terms has a prime factor not found in the radix, thus, when using hexadecimal notation, all fractions with denominators that are not a power of 2 result in an infinite string of recurring digits, such as thirds and fifths. This makes hexadecimal, and binary, less convenient than decimal for representing rational numbers since a larger proportionally outside its range of finite representation. All rational numbers finitely representable in hexadecimal are also finitely representable in decimal, duodecimal and sexagesimal, that is, any hexadecimal number with a finite number of digits has a finite number of digits when expressed in those other bases. Conversely, only a fraction of those finitely representable in the latter bases are finitely representable in hexadecimal. For example, Decimal 0.1 corresponds to the infinite recurring representation 0.199999999999 in hexadecimal. However, hexadecimal is more efficient than bases 12 and 60 for representing fractions with powers of 2 in the denominator, for example, decimal 1 16th is 0.1 in hexadecimal, 0.09 in duodecimal. 0 semicolon 3 comma 45 in sexagesimal and 0 0.0625 in decimal. The table below gives the expansions of some common irrational numbers in decimal and hexadecimal. Powers of 2 have very simple expansions in hexadecimal. The first 16 powers of 2 are shown below. The word hexadecimal is composed of hexa, derived from the Greek psi, hex, for 6, and decimal, derived from the Latin for 10th. Webster's Third New International Online derives hexadecimal as an alteration of the all Latin sexadecimal, which appears in the earlier Bendix documentation. The earliest data tested for hexadecimal in Merriam Webster Collegiate Online is 1954, placing it safely in the category of International Scientific Vocabulary ISV. It is common in ISV to mix Greek and Latin combining forms freely. The word sexagesimal, for base 60, Retains the Latin prefix. Donald Knuth has pointed out that the etymologically correct term is sinidinary, or possibly, sedinary, from the Latin term for group by 16. The terms binary, ternary, and quaternary are from the same Latin construction, and the etymologically correct terms for decimal and octal are arithmetic ardenary and octonary, respectively. Alfred B. Taylor used sinidinary in his mid 1800s work on alternative number bases although he rejected base 16 because of its incommodious number of digits. Schwartzman notes that the expected form from usual Latin phrasing would be sexadecimal, but computer hackers would be tempted to shorten that word to sex. The etymologically proper Greek term would be hexadecadic, xi alpha delta epsilon kappa alpha delta iota kappa sigma, hexadecadicos, although in modern Greek, decahexadic, delta epsilon kappa alpha epsilon xi alpha delta iota kappa sigma, Dicexodicos is more commonly used. In hexadecimal, numbers with non-decreasing digits are called plain drones, those with non-increasing digits are called nylptrums, those with descending digits are called catadrums, and those with ascending digits are called metadrums. The traditional Chinese units of measurement were base 16. For example, one chin, in the old system equals 16 tails. The swan fin, Chinese abacus, can be used to perform hexadecimal calculations. As with the duodecimal system, there have been occasional attempts to promote hexadecimal as the preferred numeral system. Those attempts often propose specific pronunciation and symbols for the individual numerals. Some proposals unify standard measures so that they are multiples of 16. An example of unified standard measures is hexadecimal time, which subdivides a day by 16 so that there are 16 hexers in a day. Base 16, as a proper name without a space can also refer to a binary to text encoding belonging to the same family as base 32, base 58, and base 64. In this case, data is broken into 4-bit sequences, and each value, between 0 and 15 inclusively, is encoded using 16 symbols from the ASCII character set. Although any 16 symbols from the ASCII character set can be used, in practice the ASCII digits 09 and the letters AF, or the lowercase AF, are always chosen in order to align with standard written notation for hexadecimal numbers. There are several advantages of base 16 encoding. 
The main disadvantages of Base16 encoding are Support for Base16 encoding is ubiquitous in modern computing. It is the basis for the W3C standard for URL% percent encoding, where a character is replaced with a percent sign percent in its Base16 encoded form. Most modern programming languages directly include support for formatting and parsing base 16 encoded numbers. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.